Hello. I that was a missed out fire moment moment. Hello. All right. We're gonna get this done so I can get dinner done right quick. Hold on, let me go down here, play a little intro music, and then we will get going. I left a couple things. I did prep some stuff, but Baby, here. here we go. All right, y'all. Okay, we're going to get to this so we can be done with this. So I'm just going to walk you through what I'm doing. I left a little bit, so we got to cut the bacon yet. I made the bacon in the oven already. I've already done my potatoes, but I left a few of them. So I just had some white potatoes that I needed to finish using. So you bake them. You can do them in the oven or the microwave, air fryer, whatever. And then because they're white potatoes, the skin's pretty thick. So I peel these. We're making loaded baked potato soup. Hey, everybody. Hey, Helen. Hey, Kathy P. Emery against evil. Brie. Brie, I, I got to text you back. I am so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. So happy that today's been a good day for you. Who else did I miss? Hey, Marcy. I timed wrapper out. Hey, Reese Cup. Hey, Zero. Y'all, no drama, no nothing going on over here. So we're just hanging out and cooking. Um, so I peel the skins off of these because white potato skins are a little bit thicker than what I like in my soup and they get a little chewy after you bake them. So not my thing. Not my thing to have them in. I will leave some on if I'm feeling lazy or, but if they're red potatoes or yellow potatoes, the skins are a lot thinner. So you can leave them in there if you like that in your baked potato soup. It's personal preference, but I just left a few. I have already peeled the majority of them and got most of it prepped. So I'm just going to show you. So oh, after you see. bake them, you peel them or cut them into bite size. You don't have to make them really small. I'll show you guys in a minute. What's this? Yes. You're going to have to redo that if you got rid of it. Kenzie started her prep a couple of hours ago and is at the stage of having to drink the magnesium citrate and she's whining. It is gross, but. No, I think I just drank way too much Sprite with it. <laughs> probably the bubbling is yeah, not good. So we're just going to cut these potatoes and then we got to peel an onion, cut an onion. Okay. So just peeling the skin off really quick, adding it to my potatoes. We got one more to do really quick. Oh, uh, hey, Revival. Hey, Muffin Mouse. A vegan. See, I, I don't do anything vegan. I do not do any type of vegan cooking. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. So it, um, cause people just asked for the recipe. So I was like, let's just show them. It's really simple. It's nothing special. You can make your own adaptations to this. Of course, this is just how I do it. These are, this is one of those things that I don't really follow a recipe for. I learned how to do this years ago. 
This weekend, I might make Nephila soup with you guys. I've been talking about that soup for a year and a half on this app, and nobody seems to know what it is. It's a German dumpling type soup. It's amazing, but it is a very intensive soup. It would probably take us like four hours. So depending on what everybody is doing on Saturday in my household, um, I might make the majority of it with you guys, or I might just get everything prepped and ready, and then we might make it together. So my potatoes are cut, so they're all just bite-sized after they're cooked. Okay, now we're going to quickly cut this onion up. You can use whatever type of onion you want. I just have a yellow onion, of course. Nothing special. Okay, everybody coming in. Sorry, I'm a little bit far away from the computer, so I propped you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit. You're from, no yeah, my North Dakota people, some of my Minnesota people, some of my Germans know what it is. It's a big soup. That's where I learned how to make it was when we had the restaurant in North Dakota. So we are going to cut this onion up. And I'll probably cry because I don't have goggles on. I should, I should put goggles on. I should put a helmet and goggles on and do a cooking show like that. Hey, Britt. Okay, I can see the comments. Most of you guys are eating dinner or already have ate dinner. It's five o'clock here, so. And this cooks down so you don't have to go into like tiny. I could have also got my chopper out too, I guess. Could have cheated, but. This is just a simple, so. Nothing major here. My kiddos are home. One's reading, one, they finished their homework already. One's on her iPad. Hey, hey. Oh, never mind. She's running around. I thought she was coming around the corner. I was going to say, if I, if you're coming around the corner, I have to show the camera off. People weren't such whack jobs on the internet. I wouldn't care as much, but. This will help clean my sinuses out. Hey, the real angel. Hey, Gina. All right, we're gonna take this off the cutting board and then finish cutting the rest of it. I like onion, Kyle does not. He doesn't mind the flavor of it. He just does not like if he can see it necessarily. He'll eat it though, he'll eat whatever I make. He'll be back in a few. He is at his folks' house. All right, Let's give myself a black eye with a cabinet. I'm just gonna cut all this stuff. Normally I would already have this done, but I was waiting to do this with you guys so you know what I'm doing. Just dumped it all over my counter because I'm a smooth operator. And then we're gonna take our bacon that I cooked in the oven. So onions are cooked or diced, not cooked. Now we're gonna take our bacon and you don't have to make this tiny either, just chewable size. I baked it in the oven. You can also use pre-made. If you're in a hurry, you can use bacon bits. I don't like bacon bits for this because you lose the flavor and they're 
It was chunky to me, so not my favorite thing. They're too crispy for this. I prefer the flavor and the fat of it. And I do leave, like I don't take paper towels. Normally I take paper towels and cure the, or take the grease off, but I like the flavor in my soup. So I don't do that either. So we're just gonna cut this up and then we're gonna make the soup. And this isn't something that has to like cook for hours because everything is pretty much cooked. So we're gonna make a roux for our base for the milk, which is just, for those that don't know what a roux is, it's flour, butter, and a liquid. It's basically the, the base of a gravy or any type of thing like that. So here's the rest of the bacon. Cut up. So now our cutting board and knife can go away. And wash my hands. Get that grease off my hands. Now we'll get rid of this too. I always make my bacon in the oven. How many of you make your bacon in the oven? Anybody else make your bacon in the oven? comments but okay so I have butter in here and I've got flour right here so we're gonna just turn this on to like medium heat let the butter melt right quick we got seasonings right here and we've got our milk right here Parchment paper, that's a good idea. Yeah, I love bacon in the oven. Love bacon in the oven. Okay, melt in the butter. Let's see, you guys aren't up high enough. One of these days I'll invest in a thing for actual, like so you hover over the top. I think a lot of people use their phones to do their kitchen stuff on those stands. I could figure out, I could get one for my iPad, I guess, and do it too. So we're just melting the butter down. Just want it to melt a little bit because we're gonna brown our butter a little bit. Not much, but. And there's, I don't have exact measurements. Ooh, yeah, muffin mouse. Super easy cleanup. You can do tin foil or parchment paper. <coughs> I am out of parchment paper. Well, actually, am I? No, I had some. Damn it. I forget. I do have parchment paper. You can do parchment paper. You can do the brown parchment paper, the white parchment paper, or tin foil, either or. Um, like 425, lay it in there. It's super easy. Okay, butter is pretty much melted. So now we're going to add, uh, this is about a half a cup. I'm trying to give you guys measurements. I just eyeball this stuff. So sorry, I'm not, this is one that I don't have a recipe for. This is another one that I just pretty much eyeball. So you can see kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just making a thickener. So just enough to coat and make it chunky. This is a thicker soup as is, so you don't need a whole lot of roux. So I would say it's 
probably a half a stick of butter and a half a cup of flour is about correct what I added in there. And we're just gonna let this cook at the bottom of the pan for like a minute, not to burn it, but just to kind of give it a little consistency. So it crum crumbles all of that butter up. Sorry, I'm making noise. Talk amongst yourself with whatever you guys want to know. And then make sure you stir it, though. Don't leave it because it will brown and burn. Okay, now we're just going to add our milk. Oh. Don't mind me. I can't pull these off. Okay. This is 2%. I'm sure you can use whatever you have in your fridge. I used probably, mm, let's say, a little over three quarters of it. I might use the whole thing. Let me see what it's going to look like. So now we're just going to let this heat a little bit, get it going. That will, the roux will be chunky for a little bit. Again, this is a thick soup, so you don't need a whole lot of thickener. You could probably skip the thickener altogether if you don't have the stuff. If you were out of flour or something, you could probably skip it. But it's what my mama taught me. And I am going to season my milk now. Garlic salt. A lot of it because we like everything seasoned. Seasoning salt. I'm out of Johnny, so I just have some generic, which is fine. You can also use onion powder, garlic powder, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Let's see what I got here. I got some garlic powder. Just so it's not overly salty. And we got some black pepper. I don't do a ton of pepper, but it's probably... Uh, Two teaspoons of black pepper is probably about what I put in there. Now we're just going to let this heat. It's on medium heat. You can still feel the chunks at the bottom. You can also use a whisk as this is heating. Whatever you prefer. You can kind of see it though. It's still, you can see your seasonings a little bit still in the top of it, which is fine. The other thing you can do is you can cook your onions down with the roux. You can add your onions to the roux if you prefer. I prefer to let this warm up and then I will add it in. Why are our lights flickering? Our lights are flickering for some odd reason. All right. Let's see what you guys are saying. Everybody's been having a long day. You never cook. 10 to 11. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard because they're always reheating stuff. It's hard. I have a hard time cooking for two people. I always have, but like this soup freezes really well. This is a really easy soup to make. This is super easy. So we're just gonna let it cook down. I'll add in a little bit more milk. So I would say there's probably like a cup in the rest of a full gallon. 
So I use everything short of a cup. Because we're going to add a lot of stuff to it. So. This, this is going to heat. You still got some flour and butter that's melting through. I don't know what size saucepan this is either. It's a big ass one. Um, it's probably eight quart, I would say. Kitty has a Sunday too. Kitties, hold on. Well, that's cooking. I'll show you guys the mess over here. There's smoosh. Smoosh is out and about. She's like, oh shit. That reminds me, I gotta feed Bella too. Smoosh is out and about. I have you guys propped up on a Diet Coke box. Shut this. I'll feed Bella right quick while we're doing this. Yeah, when you're hungry. Hey. Sorry, guys. We're just, I'm whipping through this. We're letting this heat up for a minute. So this is in my way. Getting ready to feed her animals. I'm not adding this. This is, I'm feeding for this. So for those of you that are wondering what uh, I'm doing. No, nope. get your butt back. Yeah, you tried running out of the door. A little crazy. I make a mixture of just plain white rice for her, and then I use canned dog food. You got a pretty new for women or keeping. Since she had her stroke, I just use this beef, vegetables, and brown rice stew stuff for her. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I heat it up. Okay, Kenzie, you're allowed. Stop. They'll come when they're ready. Okay. All right. Let's stir this again. What y'all up to? Anybody doing anything interesting this Wednesday night? And I always just stick my face in there to see what it smells like, see if it's got enough seasoning. Now we're going to add onion to it. And that was probably a medium-sized yellow onion. It's not a huge one. Again, I like flavor, though, so I... Uh, you could add... You can also add, like, green onion to this when you serve it. If you want... Oh, I hated that too much. Give me a second, please. Okay. You don't You're fine. There, Smoosh. And in your smush. <laughs> She's running back to her bedroom. She's like, get me out of here. Oh, she just hung out. Yeah. <laughs> Isabella, you ready to eat? I know as soon as Mama jumps off that chair, she's bolting. Huh? Come on, you want this? <laughs> what are you doing, Leanne? She's like, pet me. She just wants to wander around with the dogs. All right. Smoosh. Yeah, she's just, she's ridiculous. 
Isabella, are you gonna eat? You better eat your food. I put it up there so the kitty doesn't try to eat it. Is it cold there? Cold and windy, ugh, busy day. I know tomorrow's gonna be a busy day for us too. Get the kiddos off to school and then I have a doctor's appointment. I'll make sure I get a doctor's note too. People are fucking ridiculous. I cannot even believe the insanity. Some people need time. They need something to do in their lives. So now it's basically milk, onion. It's just heating the temp. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit, probably like five minutes. Just let this cook. Make sure you're getting the bottom of it though so your roux doesn't stick and it doesn't scorch to the bottom. Again, it's not thickened majorly because all the other crap that we're adding to that is. Ooh, that sounds good, Lisbeth. Oh, the real angel, if you missed it. Ugh, yeah, 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 people are ridiculous. There's a creator that likes to talk shit about me that says that because I missed a live stream with somebody that I was faking being sick. They're, people are unfucking believable. Just makes me sad for them that they are that that desperate. That desperate. Some people's kids, man. Okay. Thank you, Helen. Some people are desperate for my attention. All right. It's heating wonderfully. So the onions in there. Now your potatoes are already cooked. Oh gosh, the real angel. It's the most obnoxious stupidity I've ever even heard, honestly. Makes me sad for those people. Now we're gonna add the bacon. Well, actually I'll give it a couple more minutes. It smells good already. People are just ridiculous out here. Some people like to stretch their imaginations. And the sad thing is, is people will just run with whatever they say to. It's like, wow. Desperate times. Okay. You can see it's steaming. It's starting to heat. We're on four. The real angel, I have not seen her in months and months and months. She disappeared. Oof. Helen, do you remember when she disappeared? It's been like six months at least, if not more. I can't remember when she disappeared, but it's been a long time. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if it was during the uni stuff that she disappeared. I can't remember. It's been a long time, though. Um, now we're going to add the bacon. Adding the bacon to it. Just because we want the flavor in the base. You can see the chunks in, in there. And it's thickening up already. It, this won't get super thick, and that's how we want it.
And then you can be like me. All former friends of nonsense end up going missing. <laughs> That's the newest rumor. Nonsense is the common denominator that everybody believes. Meanwhile, 99% of my subs have been here from day one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's always that. It's got good flavor so far. They'll go missing in action. We should put water posters out. Actually, none of the there isn't one that I would. Hmm. I'm trying to think who we haven't seen in a long time that there's a couple, but I'm not going to name them. I'm sure they're still around. They're just on alts. So I won't expose their alts, but bad apple always makes me happy. Oh, Safari. It was so good to see Safari the other day. That's what I was thinking, Marcy. I was thinking that too. Yes. Emery, the bacon was already cooked. Yep, I made the bacon in the oven and then chopped it up into little chunks. Everything is pretty much cooked previous to this. So you're basically just turning it into soup now. We're just doing the base. Helen, are you on top chat? Helen needs a constant reminder that she's on top chat. Okay, so that's cooking. The onions are becoming transparent too as they cook, as your mouth heats. You're not, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. And it's thickening up. Looking good. It smells good too. Revival. I know she almost needs a, an award for this. Two days in a row and she's not on top chat. What are we going to do with her? She's like figuring it out. Sorry, guys. Dexter, get out of there. You better not have ate most of her food. You did, but did you eat your food or did you let Dexter eat it? Says, did Bella eat her food? Damn it. I had my back turned. Oh, tell her I said hi. I love her too. That's my buddy. That's my little buddy. Yeah, there's a lot of people that disappear and change their names. Or if you do content that they don't like. And um, people just move, though, too. Like, certain topics will bring people in. Certain people, you know, it just depends. There's something different for everybody. I don't get, like, there's certain people that I will notice if they're missing. But for the most part... Um, they'll pop in and like say hi here or there. And some people take breaks from YouTube for personal life shit and stuff. You know, everybody has different things. So, ah, that's my buddy. Okay. Now we got the bacon in the onions in. now we're going to add a can of cheddar cheese soup, Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. I don't know if they make generic, <coughs> you could use a generic. Two, if you would like to, that's a personal preference, but you just dump the whole thing in here. I know it's weird. It's weird. It's actually not. I know I've never used this type of, I didn't even know they made this until I started learning how to make this soup. I didn't know it was a thing. So you're gonna add that. So we've got bacon, onions, our milk, flour, roux, and cream of, well, it's not cream of cheddar, it's cheddar cheese soup. 
Gonna add that to it. Yeah, oh, some of them do. Some of them do, Emery, some do. Hey, Lurker. Yeah, yeah, Lurker. It's hard. There's, and people like, when things shift too, people feel stuck. So a lot of times they change names and stuff too. Like it, YouTube's a very interesting app. It can be very personal for some people and others not so much. Everybody takes something different from YouTube, I think. Yeah, Elizabeth, I, I prefer Campbell's too. Prefer that. Okay, so it's thickening up for sure, and you can smell everything. Like, it smells good. It smells real good. It smells real good if I don't say so myself. So we got our base in there. Now, we're going to let this cook a little bit more. It's coming together, though. Oh, that's right, Helen. I always forget about that. I forget that that was a big... I forgot that that happened. I always forget. There's been so much that has happened. I forgot. I'm going to taste it again. It tastes good. I. That's why... Make sure you add a little bit of your, if your bacon has grease on it, it's the better. I forgot about that. There's been so much that has happened. I forgot she got really offended by Nanya. Now we're going to add our potatoes in. Oh, it's because I, I spun it and it just continues to move. So this is probably 10 medium-sized white potatoes that were baked and the skins taken off of that were already cooked, baked all the way through. They have a little, like you don't bake them to the point where they're falling apart, like an actual baked potato. You don't want to do that. You want to still make sure that they have consistency to them so they don't just fall apart. So now, let me show you guys what we got. So when you pull up, a, your potatoes still have consistency to them. So we're going to let that heat all the way through. Let our potatoes get heated. But we're going to also add in our sour cream. So I have two containers. You use a whole sour cream container, a whole 16 ounce, but I have two half containers that I'm going to use just to use up. So a whole 16 ounce container, but for some reason we had two open. I don't know how we got two open, but I'm just using them so they don't go to waste. It already smells amazing. So the sour cream kind of looks chunky at first. It almost looks like it's going to curdle. Yeah, I always forget about that. Helen's right, though. She, I forgot about that. That's why. Yeah. She was friends with T. Kelly. 
I think, if I remember correctly, too. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning salt. There's a lot that happens out here, you guys. Like, there's a lot that happens in other chats, too, that people just move around. It gets a little wild. Oh, I need to remember to do my wrenches over here. I need to take some wrenches and give some wrenches on this channel. I keep fucking forgetting. I think you all have the wrenches that are supposed to have them over here, though. I haven't checked wrenches over here. I always forget. So we got our sour cream in, and it will clump because it's cold. So you're going to... You're going to see the clumps in it. It will cook down. That will disappear. It will, as it heats, they will cook down. But you can see it's, potatoes are holding their consistency. So the biggest part of this soup is the prep work, making the bacon, get, making your potatoes. I would say... The quickest way of doing your potatoes is in the microwave, clean them, wash them, put them in for 25 minutes. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna rinse my spoon off again. A lot of this is testing, taste testing it to excellent. Hey, Rebel Rose. It's going to heat all the way through. We still got some lumps of sour cream that, here, I'll show you guys, that need to melt down. And you can see it's thickening up. Kyle just texted me, headed home, babe. Love you. Do we need anything? No, we're good. Dinner's almost ready. The sour cream is almost melted all the way through, and you can see the heat's coming off of it. So it's now it's consistently heating. Isabella, be nice to the kitty. Bella's being cold. She's not trying to eat your dog food, dork. So now I'm going to take more cheese. Mild cheddar. You can use whatever you've got. This is just an eight ounce bag of mild cheddar cheese. I'm going to turn my stove down a little bit, though, because it's all the way heated. Now we're just wanting it to mix in there. You don't need it to boil or anything. It kind of turns yellow, of course, because of the cheese, which is what you want. A Dexter, yep. Got to be right here, making sure if I get any scraps on the floor. And the cat is playing. The cats are eclipsing. The baby are playing together. We're going to test it again and see what, it, what the flavor is like. And you can add or, you know... You can go really light on your seasoning to begin with. Mm, perfection. Or if you're like me, you just dump. And that's basically it. It's just going to sit now.
and cook. Let me show you guys. Let me get a soup spoon, a soup ladle. This is a little premature to do this, but. So you can see it's thick, like it's chunky soup. It's not, it's hearty. So every scoop has something in it. And it does look a little, like there's a little texture to it. Don't let that scare you though. And you can, when you serve it, you can add additional cheese to it. Your potatoes are already, should be already cooked though. If they don't, if they're not all the way cooked, you'll let it sit, remove it from heat so it doesn't boil and curdle. But you'll just let it sit longer. Like I could let this sit now and your potatoes will cook. But I like the potatoes to remain with some consistency to it. So here, let me show you guys. So there's... So your spoon should be able to go through right through your potato. Oh, you guys can't see that, but still got consistency to it, but it's not, it's not shredding apart. Now I'm just going to shut the heat off and let it sit. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can also, like when you serve it, you can chop up green onions and add more cheddar cheese to it if you would like. It's all about personal preference. This is how we like it. This is how I make it. It's a thick soup though. It's really thick. I mean, it's a hearty soup. And then I serve it. You can serve it with crackers, of course, if you would like, but we prefer dinner rolls, homemade dinner rolls, or if you cheat like me, I get the ones from Costco, the big, huge bags of Costco rolls, and then I freeze them in individual Ziploc bags. But that's how we like ours. Yep, absolutely, Rebel Rose. That is perfection. Chives and cheese on top. You can add whatever you would like to on top. Crackers, if you would like soup crackers, whatever the case may be. I'm going to actually push it off of heat now because it's, it's going to continue to cook on its own and it'll just sit there and it'll stay warm for quite some time. That's all there is to it, you guys. That's it though. And it is so freaking good. It is fabulous soup. It is honestly the best baked potato soup, the best potato soup. Most potato soup is so bland and has no flavor to it. This is definitely not that way. This has a huge, yet yeah, a revival. It, 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 um, no, um, I think that would ruin it personally, Whoop. but to each their own, you could also use like ham. If you had a ham, leftover ham, you could use that instead of bacon too. My mom used to make potato corn ham chowder and this is how I eat it. I use a roll and then. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So freaking good. That's it. Rebel Rosa, I'm making Nephilus soup this weekend too. This is amazing. And it freezes so well. And the best way of like after you freeze it, so I'll show you guys how I freeze it. I actually have still have one in the freezer, but 
I have these little, oh, mm -mm. hold on. Let me do this just a second. So these are, what are these? These are two cup Rubbermaid cups and they come with a lid. So I just put soup in here, put the lid on it and not fill it all the way to the top. So it has room to expand. And then when you take it out, you just put it in a bowl of hot water, set it in there and you can reheat it in the microwave or you can throw it in a, a pot and reheat it that way too, whichever you prefer, but it freezes so well here. Let me show you how it looks. I always keep soup on hand, frozen soup on hand. So then we always have it because somebody always, we love soup, but it's just perfect. They're the perfect size. And then if you wanted a bigger one for like the family, you can put them in bigger ones too. Whichever way you prefer it. And that's it. That's all there is to it. None of the stuff that I make is like, uh, Nephla soup. That one, you guys will see a little bit more. Like that's an intense one because you have to make the Nephla's. And that is messy as hell. But it is so good and it's so worth it. But we will have two pots of that. So this is, like I said, I think this is like an eight quart. I'm going to have to look at it. Um, I think it's an eight quart pot and it made at least six quarts, probably five quarts. Super easy. And you can add more potatoes to it if you would like to, but that's your base. And then you can kind of have freedom of adding whatever you want. Yes. Super easy. Potatoes in the microwave, peel them down, leave the skins on if you would like, whichever you want. But this is so freaking good. So easy. That's all there is to it, y'all. All there is. I'm like a soup connoisseur. This is one I make all the time. Potato soup is my favorite soup of all time. And this is a family favorite. Yeah, it's so good. It smells good too. It smells heavenly if I don't say so myself. It is super easy too. But yeah, that's it. You guys were propped up on a Diet Coke box. <laughs> that's it. Easy cleanup too because most of it's prep work. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'll take a picture when I do the bowl and use it for my thumbnail or whatever, but it's a lot of, there's nothing like really exact about it. That's why it's hard for me to like write a recipe of this. I could of course, but I don't have a recipe. A lot of it is just eyeballing stuff. Rebel Rose. I love the cooking videos too. This is my, this is my happy place is the kitchen. As you guys can see, like this is where I really am most content probably. I really enjoy cooking. Sometimes it becomes annoying because it's habit. Hey, Mercedes girl. Uh, tea. My beautiful tea. It is. It's just where I enjoy. Like, and I enjoy the company. You guys, like the small groups of us. Stonefly, right? Hey, how are you? I haven't seen you either. I like this type of environment. I love when you guys just get to talk in the comments and hang out too. Yesterday's live, I absolutely had the best time talking with all of you guys. I mean, we were just BSing and that live turned into, I, I felt so good after that live. Honestly, yesterday's live on this channel started off of me just making, you know, figuring out the rest of my meals for the week. <laughs> and turned into like, we started talking about medical stuff and controversial, you know, stories that are going on and stuff, but the support of all of you guys to each other and uplifting each other. And you can just see people are craving community and uplifting each other. And everybody's going through something. Everybody is going through something. And I think those make me, I walk away from those lives feeling the best. Like, I feel like I'm on cloud nine after lives like that because 
it just makes me so happy to see everybody supporting each other and the love you guys give each other. That's, that's where my happy place is. Hey, Marianne. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it's a whole different environment. Yeah. Hold on, you guys. I got to blow my nose again. Never mind. I'm just baking it. I'm choking, but yeah, it was, and I took the comments off um, to protect everybody's privacy. So the chat replay isn't on for a reason, but it was great. Oh, what in the hell is up with these accounts? This is just so ridiculous. I do too, Lurker. I love, the island is my happy place, honestly. Hey, Nana L. Virg, it is. It's always calm over here. And we have a lot of, like, it's amazing because it's usually, like, the smaller crew. And it is so nice because we just get to BS. We get to talk about all of our likes and dislikes and cooking and other people just, I don't know. And that's one thing that they've ever, they've never been able to do. I have been trolled beyond belief and trolls don't get me worked up or sidetrack us. So it's pointless for them to come in. Yeah. Alt 2008. They've been really, really trying recently over here. The island is, oh, I'm sorry, Marion. I'm really sorry. I don't know. This is just such a different, the Islanders are such a different group of people though. And a lot of the Islanders go in many different places. Like they watch a lot of different things. Dexter, what do you got? What is that that you got? Give it here. Give me that. What is that? Give it here. No, sir. Oh, it's Brent. He found a he found a piece of something, and he's he's been running around with it a little turd. Sorry. I don't know. It's just such a different group of people. They all go everywhere, but oh yeah, he can, Virg. Yeah, he's he's super cool to me usually. Virg, I think we have multiple rappers though. I think there's like two different. I think there's the cool rapper that comes around and then there's the one that does the stupid shit like this. I don't know if they just get into different moods or what. <clears throat> but there's a lot of Islanders that are in a lot of the drama too. There's a lot of people that are in like the deep drama and love that shit. And I'm just like, oh, it gets exhausting. It gets freaking exhausting after time. Kyle's home. He turned the light on. Yeah, whichever. I think there's multiple. You don't think, you think it's the same person, Helen? It could be. I don't know enough to know. I used to think it was two different people because they have completely different, per like completely different purposes usually. The one comes into derail chats and acts completely foolish. And the other one is like always kind and peaceful. And on those alts, he's always nice to me in other chats or he or she or whatever. But this one recently that's been typing the N word in the comments nonstop has just, I have no tolerance for it. It's stupid. Yeah, I blocked a bunch of their alts yesterday. That's the only account that's been blocked over here. I just don't got time for that shit. It's so stupid, too. It's like we're sitting here cooking. Whoopty shit. What's, what's the point? I don't know. Super immature. Some people are really immature, though. There is that. <clears throat> Yeah, Emery could, could. She's getting, um, she's definitely in a mood today, Mary, and she's doing her colonoscopy prep. So she's, she's having a rough night right now. She's not. Yeah, Lurker, it's, there's a lot of, in all honesty, if I'm being honest about a lot of it, it's all hypocritical bullshit. Um, and nobody's innocent and a lot of shit. And so I just get fed up with even trying to like, I, I will never take a side on a lot of the shit that's going on because I can see wrong on all sides of things. And I, I that's just not, 
it's it gets exhausting to me to even try to pick who's doing better because the point becomes so lost and people have i think people are just exhausted by it like it exhausts people it exhausts me and you like people always come out swinging too and are like i don't do anything you know i don't i don't know it just it's really disappointing. It's really disappointing to see how many get sucked into it. Oh, Marcy, that happens. Chat sections go crazy. I've been watching that on so many of the people that are covering that. They, the misinformation that gets spread on that case is extensive and it gets really bad. Do you have a question? Yeah, Virg, me too. Like she's she treats me amazing, and I love going over there and enjoying some of the chats. Some of it's not for me. Some of it I, I don't enjoy. Like a huge panel of people, I've never been good with. What? Did you mix your Miralax with anything? Yeah, with my electrolyte drink. It says I can mix it with Crystal Light or Powerade. Would it taste worse? No, it's it doesn't have any flavor to it at all. It's just the container. Uh, yeah just mix it with something i mixed it with i mixed seven cups with two different um in two different glasses and chugged them that's it that's all have at it <clears throat> kenzie yeah yeah lurker absolutely yeah nana l same 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 i treat yeah verg i'm so sorry about your loss <clears throat> yeah. No, Verg, that's that's reality though. So many people are dealing with so much shit. And don't ever feel like you're derailing anything or making it about you. People are going through shit and people want a safe place that they can talk. Not a safe place. I mean it's YouTube, so it's not it is what it is, but they just want it to be supported by other people going through shit. Like it it feels good to feel that you're not the only one going through crazy shit. Does that make sense? Sometimes I think people get caught up in the drama because it's a good distraction from the reality that they're going through. And we all do it at times. We can all get caught into that mess. But it's so pointless to me. Like, I am 41 years old. I am not doing he said, she said bullshit. I, that is so ridiculous. Like, to watch these people shame me over and claim that I was faking an illness to not panel up with somebody. Are you that is the most immature shit. And that woman is quite a bit older than me. It just becomes so exhausting. My chat, I've never had, I've never had issues in my chats, really. Except for when I'm in there. No, not even then. And it's not, my mods don't run, like, block Ooh. everybody either or anything like that. Now, there is accounts that just run around saying the same old shit, like, nobody's allowed to have an opinion and shit like that. And it's like, say your opinion and stand on it. Stop saying all this, like, sideways shit that just you're not saying anything at all. You're just saying shit to be saying shit. Like, say something. Stop just making these open-ended fucking comments. That's so annoying, too. Hey, Do you have one. a picture? Yeah. A Virg, I'm the same way. A picture? Like a water picture? Picture. Under the counter, Kenzie. For what? Okay, I'll just need to Holy Jesus cow, Christ. Kenzie. She's acting like she's never done a prep before. Nana Ella, she's... it's going good. I landed a good job today, so I'm happy. Hey, Revival. <clears throat> How are the folks? Good. My dad's actually doing good. Good. That's so good to he, hear. He was using his little... Uh, it's like the pedal, Flip pedal, the pedal to keep thing his legs feet. going. He was using Good. that the whole time. He actually walked around with just his cane today. Good. So, and he's actually in good spirits, which I think is the the best part of it. He's, Good. It seems like he's finally wanting to fight for it. Good. So, yeah, it's it was really good. It was good to sit down with him. Yeah, Revival, that's great news about his dad. Yeah, he's. They love having Kyle close by so he can just run over there and say hi here don't turn that on I, no way are you 
turn it on the camera? Yeah, you look the same way you always do. Your hair is still 10 feet tall. You're okay. Well, I'm six foot now. It's that's what, 18 inches. That's what you wanted this whole time was me to be <laughs> six foot. You know, she almost didn't date me because I'm 5'10". He might be lying, but he might not be either. I had to wear my inch and a half heel work boots over there. Yeah, we live in Arizona now. He's at home. He's home. He's home. <laughs> Him and his hair. Yeah. Him and his hair. He's got... It is beautiful out tonight. It's beautiful. It's actually. it's Hold really, on. really nice here. I mean, it's really cool. The sunset cold. behind Kyle is It's beautiful. cold right now, but it's... Uh, it's such a nice place to be. It, it's it's not hard to get used to the it's sun. It's chilly here, every but day. it's it's nice. It's clear skies. They got snow in Tucson the other day. Sun every day is good for your attitude. Yeah, Marion, it's beautiful here. Arizona is beautiful. I'm excited. Alana was asking when we can go swimming again, and I was like, well, not not uh, anytime soon. They came and clean the pool today, though. They yeah, come every Wednesday and clean I'm the pool. Sure, Pennsylvania is. Reason. Oh yeah, you guys got pretty have much snow. everywhere except for here. Is you guys all cold. have snow, pretty much. Well, Helen doesn't. I know that. Like the whole country got nailed with snow. You're supposed to get snow next Monday. Holy shit! Texas is gonna shut the fuck down. Yeah. They go into like catastrophe mode. Or they just head to Cancun. Yeah, I would. The dreary days, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know how bad Seattle was for my mental health until I moved out of there. I moved from Seattle to to Phoenix for school, and I realized that how much of, of a difference the sun can make. Take a spoon and stir it, sis. Oh, you're freaking bro. Oh, toughen it up, no, you whiny so brat. She's acting like a whiny two-year-old tonight. She does this to everything. I know. She's being a drama queen tonight. She could have been done with it by now. She is being drama. Anybody want this kid today? She is being dramatic. Highs in the five degrees this weekend. Oh, yeah. over. Yeah. No, thanks. That's how Utah was mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, that was it's trying to snow in Ohio. It was really Ugh. cold there. Yeah, I've seen that there's been like pileups on the highway and stuff. Yeah, Washington's nice, especially Gig Harbor area. The Helen, I'm sending her Peninsula there. is really nice. She's going to be on my last nerves all night, bugging me about her prep. She just has to guzzle this shit. Like, she talks herself out of it, and she she knows what she's doing. She just, she just dreads. She has this thing with consistency and drinks, and she's super finicky. So she always bitches for like 15 minutes. And instead of just guzzling it and getting it over with, she has to bitch about it first. She's just like her mother. Yeah. If anybody's never been to like the Washington area, like anybody from the East coast or whatever, you, you definitely should try. I would say like summertime, go over to the peninsula. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's the Olympic game farm over there. You can see buffaloes and, buffaloes. and the, bison. or yeah, bison. <laughs> Beefaloes, <coughs> but it's it's a really nice place of the country. It's beautiful, but it rains all the time and it gets cold. And it, the freezing rain shuts the hell down. If in the Seattle area, mm -hmm. I five turns into a huge shit show. Blizzard here, oof. Yeah, it's beautiful over there for sure. Oh shit, that's crazy, Marcy. That's bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to be, I'm sure it's cold at my dad's house. Let me look. Let me check what the weather is. Over yeah, there. I can't believe I even survived North Dakota as long as I did. North Dakota is a hellhole. It is so fucking cold. It, that is unbearable cold. Uh, I lived in the, the back of my pickup truck for about three months in North Dakota Ooh. in the winter. In the back of, I had, I backed my truck into a garage stall and I lived there. Y'all, it's in Idaho. It's going to be negative 12 on Saturday Ooh. at my mom's house. Let me see what my dad is. Ooh, Salt Lake's getting snow right now. Yeah, Kathy P., I'd, I don't know how people can do it in Florida. There's some just wild I couldn't weather. handle the humidity. Wild I'm weather. realizing that there's no way I could handle the humidity. I went to Florida for hurricane relief for Irma. 
with one of the power companies and <laughs> and that was i mean it was just wild the bugs there some of the bugs they've never even discovered yet my dad's house on saturday is a low of negative 13 with a high of negative seven friday will be negative zero with a high of zero and there's a total Oof. of three trees in the whole state to stop the wind sunday's negative 17 with a high of negative nine and the wind chill will be fucking terrible below. yeah it feels like 12 below zero right there right now and it's seven degrees mm -hmm. seven degrees and it feels like it's 12 below because of the wind chill yeah yeah the whenever oh. you're looking at north dakota weather you 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 got to look at the wind chill. Whatever the wind chill is, is what it is because there's not that many trees to stop the wind. Oh, yeah. North Dakota. Ugh. My dad lives there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, I don't I don't know. I'm not cut out for that anymore. I've lived. This is the first time I've lived anywhere that doesn't really have a winter. And it's what our lows are. Let me look at our lows right now. Well, we're we're just getting below freezing at night because there's been a freeze warning and people are covering some of their cactus cacti and other plants so they don't freeze but tomorrow is tonight's a low of 30 and tomorrow will be 60 degrees 59 degrees yeah and then we're back into the 40s like our lowest is 30 31 32 that's our lows 42 40 42 38 39 but our highs are like 59 57 <clears throat> 61 66 71 so we'll be back in the 70 degrees here soon. Yeah, it won't stay this cold for Oh, long. revival, yeah, I'm sure. Mon mm -hmm. You're going to get that. season mm -hmm. is pretty good here. Ugh. We didn't get it this year, but maybe next year we will. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off here so I can go feed them now that everything's done. But yeah, the girls are getting in the fridge. That is. Yeah, the girls, are, the girls are ready. But super, super easy. If you have questions about what I did or anything, ask in the comments. I will leave this up. I will post it screenshot of it i hope you guys oh my gosh no negative 25 no thank you yeah the bugs in in florida are, no thank you come on over kathy no thank you short drive away <laughs> come on over i have enough for all sorts of people palmetto bugs no thank you oh hey shop you'll like this one this one's super easy your other half would be able to make this for you in two seconds two seconds all right, y'all. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you guys. I will not see you tomorrow because I will be out and about unless I just pop in for a quick update on Kenzie tomorrow night or something after her colonoscopy. But we will be off and about. Um, have a good night, Stonefly Blue and everybody else. I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. Stay warm. Stay safe. And I will see you guys tomorrow or Friday. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>